Hello, everybody. Hello, scumbags. We're back. I got my Zoom replaced, finally. We are back in business. No more begging other people for equipment. No more having to pay Dylan Palladino money. This is going to be my year. Hello. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining us. We're joined by... Um, we're talking to Karen Fian. Hey, guys. Welcome back to me. I need a headphone thing because I can hear the music, but you can't. It's what like a funky. It? What's that? It's called. It's this song. It's called. You could have been a lady. Oh, is it about me? I don't know. I don't know what the. I, 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 can't hear it. It mm-hmm. I know. I wish I had a. But. I'm trying to figure out what the song's about. It seems like. It's like the old. Yeah. It's like old. Mis- yeah. It's like old misogyny. You could really say whatever you wanted to about women in, in music back, then. back in the day, yeah. Huh? Huh? had a harmony. You gotta put that mic a little closer to your face. <coughs> or a melody. Here we go, folks. Just working the bugs out. Listen, like, gosh, uh, she was just 17, which is Mmm. Right. You know what I mean? Like, she was young and stupid, so like a raper. What else would it mean? You think that's what that was? She was just 45. <laughs> <laughs> she's alive. Oh God, so I want nothing to do. I I want nothing to do with, with women. No, with women in their 20s. Oh, they're too like young and like they're uh, are they not fun to talk to? Yeah, they just tweet they just tweet about how you don't have a bed frame. Well, do you have a bed frame, Michael? I have a bed frame, yeah. They tweet about men who don't and yeah. you were w- one who didn't for a while. Is that what it is? No, I I always had the metal bed frame. Well, some guys but, don't. Yeah. Yeah, some guys have air mattress. Some guys have just mattresses. They, yeah. You know, like they'll some guys I, live on an air mattress. Yes. Yeah. Or they'll be like, "I'm getting my box spring today." Yeah. And that's their bed frame. Yeah. I, I had uh, I had um, for a little bit, I was b- between places to live, and I was sleeping on couch cushions for a little bit. That I left Ooh. on the ground, and it wasn't very. I've been there. I've slept yeah. on on the ground of uh, an apartment one night with my boyfriend at the time because we got evicted from his place. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know he hadn't been paying rent. Oh yeah, I what mean, was he doing with the rent? Money? I mean, I hadn't been paying rent either, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess <laughs> right, right, right. I could have guessed <laughs> something. Well, was up. well like, I see a ton of those tweets like that, and then I remember when I the fir- the first time that I brought Deborah home. There was a guy living in my hallway. I mean, there was like it was a railroad apartment, so there was sort of a makeshift like bedroom. Bedroom. Yes. It wasn't really a bedroom, but it, you could have made it a bedroom. You could fit a twin bed and a dresser in there. And I was like, just so you know, I have a house guest. But it wasn't a house guest. It was my it was my roommate. <laughs> and where was he sleeping? In that little hallway. In that right. So yeah. what yeah. did Deb think? Um, she liked she, you, so she was like, oh, you know, he's a fixer upper. We'll get there. Yeah. But, I mean, no, but after that night, she was like, I don't want to. Ever go there again. Yeah. <laughs> it, took, mean, it took a few more months That's to fine. Like, it. my last relationship, the, his place was way nicer than mine. So I was like, why would we go to my place when we could just go to your place? It's way nicer. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. People go through things. I mean, that's how you know if you really like somebody. Right. The other night, we were, uh, there was a noise. We had the back door open and there was like a noise outside was it a raccoon uh i wish no actually i don't wish here's my question for you have you ever had a miscarriage because <laughs> no no maybe mm-hmm. i don't know no no okay i think i would know <laughs> yeah yeah no i think it looks like a it looks like a, th- a purse <laughs> right <laughs> i like i I, I used to make jokes about it like oh you know like there has been like yeah dreadlocks att- attached to some cells maybe that came out of me <laughs> really <laughs> and i don't know if that counts <laughs> right it's like a boston red Sox hat right like a mini yeah it's red like Sox a hat pendant. in your shower yeah. uh-huh um so i don't know i've had some gnarly periods that i don't know mm. i think allison Livy has a joke about her period she's she's like you ever have a period where you're like oh that one wanted to be a baby yeah that's pretty fu- i mean even it is not funny. never having a period Right. That's pretty funny and relatable. <laughs> Look at Ernest. Oh you my know, god, but, uh, he just wants to be intimate with you. <laughs> he's gay. Yeah. He's attracted to you. I'm Oh, he's looking at him, looking at me. I outed him. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> Sorry. I can't believe we're about to talk about dog fighting while we gaze into my do- the Well, first of all, before we start, my dog's gay, too. Yes, our dogs are both homosexual, but they're both yeah. spicy gays. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They're still alpha gays. Yeah. Frankie does have a gay, he's got a gay man's personality. Mm-hmm. He's he's scared of, well, I mean, not the, gay, not the gay people are scared of stuff, but Can he's we? just, he's sensitive, <laughs> right. and he loves, he loves, like, um. he's like, remember Thomas Dale? Yes. He's like, the, he's like a Thomas Dale type. Did he die? Did Thomas Dale yeah. die? What do you mean, do I remember oh, him? Oh, he, boy. He just moved to L.A., <laughs> Awkward. <right? laughs> and that's how Mike and Karen found out that Thomas Dale was dead. I hope he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dead. <laughs> Good Thomas Dale. <laughs> yeah. He has a pit Me and ball. Sam used to, does he? Yeah. Me and Sam used to do impressions of him because he's like, Sam sna- he's like Snaggle, Morel. Oh, yeah. And she'd be like, I'm Thomas Dale. Oh, that's really good. <gasps> Look yeah. at this hot little boy over here. Um, yeah. We like invade people. I love straight boys. Privacy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look at you tan motherfucker. You go to the gym. Yeah. Yours is better, but I thought I'd try. That's okay. Well. Thomas Dale impressions aren't for everybody. All right. You know. You shouldn't have, <laughs> you shouldn't have tried to match my level. Um, well, you know, it sounds like you've been doing it for years. That was my first try. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Can you do it? Can you do a Racine impression? No. Okay. Um, I'm not good at impressions, mm-hmm. yeah, which is weird because I'm good at everything I try. Ernest is really into you right now. Yeah. Does he feel skinny? He hasn't been eating. Maybe I look like whoever was pimping him out. Nobody would ever do that. But anyway, yeah, so um, Frankie's gay. He loves um, he loves large, dark-colored male dogs. Loves them. Yeah. Ernest loves big dogs, too. Like yeah. if he sees one of those like wolfish type of dogs or mm-hmm. like a... Um, he humps female dogs, too, so maybe he's bi. Ernest doesn't really get interested in any type of dog unless they're a big dog, like one of those mountain mm-hmm. dogs or like a Pyrenees or what are those, elephants? No, what are they called? Yeah. Uh, what are they? Oh. Uh, they're like big. Or I think they're like, like a Burmese elf- mountain dog? That No, there's like skinny ones. that lo- They're like elf huns. huns. Oh, I don't know. Wait, they're skinny <laughs> and they're big? Yeah, they look like old men, and they're like skinny and big. Elfins. <laughs> Elfins? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, I want to know. <laughs> Elf, is that the word I'm looking for? Hounds. You're fucking weird. If I find this and you see... What wi- is it a Weimaraner? No. No. No, that's not what I meant, but this is a good dog. All right, so let's get back on track. You've never had a miscarriage. <laughs> no. Um, But, so I was... um. That's not what I meant, though. Mm. Irish wolfhounds. Oh, I like those dogs. Yes. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they're good. They're Elfins. good. Elfins. They're good I've been money. watching The Witcher. <laughs> uh-huh. Have you watched any of The Witcher? No. <laughs> Is it good? No. There was some guy who was mad that uh, a, a woman was fighting with a sword. Some right-wing guy was oh, upset about that. Oh, how dare a woman? Yeah. Touch a blade. Yeah. Well, this he was just ridiculous. no. Well, he was saying like it's unrealistic. That, oh, really? <laughs> that a well, woman the, is He kills a monster. Way. Like he kills a yeah. huge spider. That's a monster in the first scene. So yeah. this was the same guy that said that Mister Rogers is not a good model of masculinity because <laughs> he was too nice. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I mean, he's not wrong. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Mister Rogers surprisingly scandal free, huh? Yeah. Not, never even touched a little kid. Yeah. And they were available. Yeah. They were part of the set. Right. It's almost like we need him to not be a pedophile. We need one good guy out there. Right. To like we need an example like of. The moral compass like exists in yeah. some people. There are good people. Yeah. I heard he was a sniper in Vietnam. Is that Nuh-uh, true? Ah, really? Yeah. Did, what, did you see that movie or something that no, Tom Hanks he, was in? N- no. Wasn't there a doc about him? Yeah. Is it good? That's what you watch. Yeah, but he had like 27 confirmed kills in Vietnam or something. Damn, let me Mr. Google Rogers. That. Wait, let me Google that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty good. <laughs> Damn. That's a lot of... Won't you be my neighbor, <laughs> bitch. Pew, pew, pew. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Nuh-uh. I was talking about um, Vietnam the other day. Hi. Really? Well, I was talking about Forrest Gump. I don't even... Wait, let me Google that to see, see if that's true. Mr. Be, if that If Ra. you just made that up... Yeah. That'd be weird. Oliver, do you want to hang out with me? Oliver. Mr. Hi. Rogers killed 27 no. rice farmers. Shut up. <laughs> Innocents? N- yeah. I mean, did he kill women and children? Um, I did. Uh, no, I doubt it. Was Mr. Rogers a sniper in the military? Why are there so many urban legends about Mr. Rogers? Okay, urban maybe. legends. That means fake. Yeah. Now, uh, there's never any record show that Mr. Rogers registered for the draft in 1948, but he was never a Navy SEAL. But was he ever a Navy SEAL or a military sniper? This is uh 
Michael, what? 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 Was he or not? It's an urban I'm legend. trying to find it in this article. Hey, Oliver. Uh, oh, Oliver is full on cataracts, doesn't he? <laughs> He's so blind. Yeah. He is 91. Mm-hmm. You're 91, Oliver. All right, well, listen. Indeed, according to an urban legend, Mr. Rogers, the man who wore colorful sweaters hand-knitted by his mother for more than 900 episodes of a children's show on public access television, was a Navy SEAL with many confirmed kills. What? It seems just crazy enough to be true, but is it? Uh. This fucking article, <laughs> so, it's like it's like a fu- this ar- this article is the podcast of articles where yes, they're just trying to fill time, they're trying to round. fill space, yeah, to get their to get their Patreon money or Listen, whatever it is. Everybody, if you're listening, um, all right, Mike just brought up something he can't. Figure I don't out care. Via yeah, <laughs> why are there so many? Was Mr. Rogers really I mean, in the, the military? No, I don't. I think the twelve people no. you didn't know were U.S. Marines. Mr. Rogers' rumor neighborhood. Yeah. The, Mr. You, Rogers you, wasn't a sniper, but here's how that rumor started. Okay, here we go. He finally, wasn't a sniper. God. Mm. It's like by he's reading like, one of these articles. <laughs> maybe you can turn be, the page for more information. <laughs> what if he's like, maybe you can be my neighbor in hell. <laughs> skip ad. Skip ad. <laughs> right. Uh, he, Mike's um, just looking at porn right now. No, I'm not. I don't look at. I don't look at porn. I forgot that was here. Yeah. She's uh. Anyway. Oliver. So, um, but anyway, so okay. Anyway. So, so a couple nights ago, okay. So, so, like I said, you've never had a miscarriage. No. But um, when girls, <laughs> girls don't like when you make, when you Fun bring that up. It. Yeah, if I, I think had that, one? Well, that's like a bad. It's like a tough thing to go through. I think. Yeah. I don't understand. I never understood why, until a couple nights ago. Okay, go on. Because I'm, at, I'm. We had our back. We had our back door open. Okay. And sometimes in the backyard. There, there will be like cats and squirrels to the point where Frankie is like every time we open the the door to the backyard, he like runs out hoping that he'll catch he'll, a, catch a cat. Okay. Deb said he did catch one a couple days a ago. Yeah, he like pounced on a cat and then the cat jumped up on the fence and then it fell on <laughs> on the ground. They're wild. Like, the yeah. harness has gotten scratched before because he'll go after them. He sniffs them really? out. In the gar- only if they're in the garbage. Yeah. He wants trash cats. He Frankie loves, loves cats. cats. I mean, he like. If there's a cat on the street that he he can't resist see, it, he gets upset. Yeah. Oh, that he can't anyway. see. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Ernest is like that too. Ernest, yeah. well, I think Ernest would kill a cat if I let him. Go. I don't know what the pod the audience is for this podcast, <laughs> I, but people listen though. I you think it's it. you, Mike. They like you. Yeah. They okay. Like how stupid you are. <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway, uh, this so so there's a noise Wait, outside. It's a cat having a miscarriage. How did you know that? You went and looked at it. You're a freak. No, the other night there's a noise outside. We have a little gate, so there's a, there's like a crash, and then Frankie runs out and starts barking. Yeah. And then um, and then Deb's like, "What is that?" And I go outside, and a a a, a giant pit bull runs in the house. <gasps> in the house? Yeah. In runs, your house? Runs runs into the house. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. And I was like, "Okay, okay, okay." I'm like Deborah. <laughs> like she didn't know what was going on. What did it do? It was, uh, it, she was very friendly. Okay. She was just, uh, I mean, I was worried about Frankie and Oliver, yes, like, yes. of course, you know, like, because yes. Oliver goes after dogs. Yeah, Ar- Ernest um, would have barked and tried to, it's still their house. They would yeah. still put their dukes up, and you got a pit bull in here? Yeah. Frankie's pretty well socialized, so. Yeah, he, but you don't know this pit bull from Adam. I know. No, I know. What'd you do? Uh, but she was friendly, you said. She was real friendly. She was wagging her tail. Right, okay. She had big She had big nipples. Long nipples, which means she'd been bred a lot. You think? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. why. She smelled She smelled like a homeless person. So bad. Yeah. No collar. You ever get too close to a homeless person? No, I mean, yes, but <laughs> it, not by accident. You ever, like, go on four dates with a, <laughs> with a homeless person? <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> you ever, like, do you ever, like, you know, re-download Tinder? And you're like, all right, I'll give it another shot. Right. <laughs> and then you get too close, like you like you take them to Applebee's. Homeless people or whatever, but like mm. it's just the stench of urine that like really bothers me. Yeah. Frankie, I get it. You're tougher. You're tougher. She smelled like when there's a when there's a a homeless guy that stinks up the whole train car. Yeah. You know when you like get on a train car and you go oh, you go oh there's seats. Yeah. And then there's you know just a pile of. You smell it. It gets <laughs> right. it like singes your nostrils. <laughs> right. Um, oh yeah, she wasn't taken care of. No collar, obviously. No collar. What color was she? She was white. With I know like brown dog. spots. I know exactly where really? that dog lives. Yep, on Central. Yeah. With the white fence. Yeah. They like. I think. I think in the in the, used to be two in the of, public I, housing building. I remember two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. I know those dogs. Uh huh. So she comes in here. 
she runs in the house. Well, yeah, did, she's did running the around. Did crazy black mom come running in here after her yelling? No. Nobody. So, so, um, so Deb was like, go outside and see if anyone's like freaking out looking yeah. for a dog. Yeah. I go outside. I go to the sidewalk. It, there's nothing. No. It's like total silence. Mm -hmm. And, uh, oh boy. All right, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he loves you. Just sit. You're fine. Yeah, you're fine. So, now, our friend Whitney had a, there was a German Shepherd in her house recently that she, like, picked up, and she couldn't find the owner, okay. and she eventually came to the conclusion that it was abandoned. Okay. Um, so she had to give it up to a, a an animal rescue shelter. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I was like, so we finally, like, got our dogs corralled, and then mm -hmm. I put this dog on a leash, mm -hmm. and um, I, t I took it outside, and there's a cop car right over here because somebody care. got shot in the leg. Yeah. No, but there's like a there's like a patrol car there now. Okay. Somebody got shot in the leg like a, like half a block up from me really? in the morning. From yes. us. I what? live four blocks from here. Yeah. <sighs> Why is our neighborhood so violent? I don't know, but I used to live in Bed-Stuy and it, it's less this is a little scarier than Bed-Stuy. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's just like there there's they do, I'm not they gonna sell drugs on the corner. Do they? Yeah, all the yeah. time. Okay. Anyway, yeah, there's tons of crackheads. I used to put, like, throw out clothes. I, I heard that in 2020 we're not going to use the word crackhead anymore. Oh, what are we going to use? Michael. <laughs> crack addicted individual. Right, okay. Yeah. Mentally ill, yeah. crack addicted. Well, so if you can't say crackhead, does that mean you can't say crack baby? <laughs> what because else that are they? I it wrote may be alternate right, word. Right, 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 right. No, it doesn't. Doesn't. I mean, crack baby. Like <laughs> it just perfectly <laughs> well, describes what that is. I don't know how else you would. Right. Uh, victim addicted. Crack. Like baby. But crack. Crack is such a crack. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Cocaine addicted. It's a fucking crack baby. Whatever. Cocaine baby. I would throw all my clothes. Cocaine. And I would, I would cocaine watch infant. <laughs> Yeah. I would watch um, a crackhead fashion show. They would wear all the shit that I threw out the night before. Oh, really? I would throw my clothes away. Yeah, that's a little elitist, though. Sometimes people just need help. Well, no, there would be like the pit. leader of the crackhead lady would grab all my stuff, I remember, and she would wear as much of my clothing as she could at once, and uh -huh. then she would be passing out my shit to the rest of everybody. Mm -hmm. It was a big it was a big event. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, crack baby is just the... the, the that's the only word. It's what that is. Yep. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> right, like, there's, the, but there's no, there's no point, there's no point in cleaning up that language, right? For efficiency, no. I mean, if you're filling out a report, I yeah. mean, or you're talking about it, that's the fastest way to get the message across of what that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so moving on. You have a new. I pit bring ball. the thing outside. So the I'm thing like, thing outside. You were grossed out by her because she nipples. was gross. She was so gross, right. and I was like, I got to give her a bath because she smelled so bad. Yeah. And. Uh, and. So I want. So I don't. So I really wanted to give this dog a bath. Right. But you never know what she's used to, or if she's, you know, like she could. But she was very. She was like, like I said, she was very friendly. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like walking up the street, and I'm like, in, like envisioning my new life because I'm like, this dog's abandoned. It has no tag. I'm start. I'm thinking about my my life. If I could make this work, which I imagine is how you know, women feel when they're pregnant. I don't know how you, you are. You have a new life that you need to take care of. Well, when you get pregnant, is it li uh, is it like <laughs> <laughs> this metaphor is crazy? When you when you think that I mean when you have a I'm pregnancy trying scare, to get pregnant. are you? Yeah, I like guys coming to me all the time, all the time. Really? And I'm you gotta I'm, pick the right one. I'm though. barren. No, I don't. I need a, mm -hmm. whoever's gonna be the strongest swimmer. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't mean I'm gonna date the guy. No, you gotta pick the right guy though. All the guys that I'm letting come in me are like hot and like alphas. Like mm -hmm. either way, it would be fine. Mm -hmm. Alphas. Yes. Like dominant guys. Yes. Yeah. Leaders. Right. That's how I feel when I see a hot guy. I'm like, that's an alpha. That's a leader. I want that guy to lead me. Yeah. Or come in me. Yeah. So I can have his son mm -hmm. and then put him in commercials or whatever, make some money off him. Right. Well, you're going to need no, a. I don't know. But yeah, you're going to need a, a mixed baby for that. For that to be, di yeah, for diversity, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's okay, too. So anyway, long story short, I'm like envisioning my you whole life. I have a new dog. Yeah. And then. You name her Long Nipple. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then she, and then she pulls on the leash and I see this guy who I've seen in the neighborhood before walking another pit bull. Yeah. And I go, oh, okay. I recognize this guy and the dog. And I go, are, are you, you know, are you missing a dog? Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> he had one. Yeah. 
Well, no, because I've seen him walking two two pit bulls before. What did he say? I'm like, excuse me, are you are you missing a dog? He goes, I'm gonna fuck her up. Shut. Oh, really? Because yeah. she ran away. She and ran it's away. His dog. It's, oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's all oh, great. So you're like, here, here's your dog back to get yeah, fucked up. Yeah, to get fucked up. No. What'd you I mean, do? You br- you gave her back. I gave her back. Yeah. To get fucked up. I don't think he. I don't know. You think he was just saying that? He maybe yelled at her. Maybe kicked her. Yeah, maybe. But it's, I don't know. Sometimes you gotta. When they don't listen. Oliver will sometimes no. run towards danger. I've spanked Ernest for the same reason. I yeah. let him off leash in the park. And uh-huh. he's like, it's so fun to run to cars. I'm like, no, it isn't. Yeah. So I spanked his ass. But that's like the only time I've ever like hit Ernest. Yeah. And even that I felt guilty. Frankie g- broke out of his leash at Home Depot one time. And I had to chase him through Home Depot. What would you do? Into the, <laughs> into the parking lot. <laughs> Where chasing were through you? the parking lot in, at Home Depot uh, in in, in Bed Stuy. Okay. All these like all these day laborers are like there and they're laughing at me. Yeah. He almost got hit by a car. Uh, yeah. You know, I had to have everyone deported. I yeah. had, I called ICE because <laughs> I was like, you just humiliated me. But Ernest is stupid like um, that too. I'll take him to the beach and he'll run to the parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of in the sand along the ocean like a fucking. Yeah. So anyway, so you anyway today's episode is, is about all about pit bulls. It's the pit bull episode. Wait, can I tell you something? Though? Please. That so that reminded me, there was a couple mm-hmm. in the park, whatever that lovely park that we live near is called. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. With a bag of dog. People food. are gonna figure out where we live if we give too many details away. You're right. Uh, which which I don't really care. I'm moving. And I feel like putting it in my Twitter bio for trolls. <laughs> you know, just because no. like if you talk about it, be about it. No, come see me, bitch. No. So did you see that? Like, I live don't fuck on with cats movie. Yeah. It's like you know, people can find you. Yeah. Especially if you're like, dude, I went to that. There's that little pop up dog park in it, in that park that you're talking about, and this 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 dog right here, like he was running and he like ran into me at, at the wrong part of my leg, and I fell over. <laughs> like he, this dog like knocked me over <laughs> in front of everybody, and I was like. I think I should have. I think I should lobby to get him put down. Just stop cause, it, cause Michael. Because humili- he humiliated me. Shush, my pinky. But what what was the story you were gonna tell? There's a couple, a family. Oh no, no squeaky toys. I feel like they're gonna fight over a toy. Mm. Ernest, why don't you just no. lie down? No, Frankie's chill. He's good. Uh, go I lie down, okay. Ernest. Can we You're give them both a toy? Uh, I just want Ernest to lie He's down. He's a little possessive over his That's toys. That's what I thought. Yeah. I just said that. Yeah. But listen, Ernest can just lie down. Mm-hmm. Sorry, focus. They were giving this this long nippled pit bull away. Who? This family. They had a bag of dog food. Yeah. And a pit bull. And yeah. they, everybody that walked by, you want a dog? You want a dog? You want a dog? She had clearly already had multiple lit- litters. Really? Broke my heart. Yeah. How can you tell? Because the, the the tits. The nipples. Yeah. Oh, that's sort of sweet. I just, uh, I really like pit bulls. I do too. My mom has one. I've never Honey, met I got a pit bull. I got a rescue terrier. Look at this little puppy. A month later, I'm like, you have a pit bull. Mm-hmm. The thing's huge. Yeah. They're, they're hard to train. Some of them. I mean, Are it's they? not that he's hard to train. He's a smart dog. He does, like, he listens and stuff. But he's just so big and yeah. stocky. Yeah. Powerful. It's, like, not that easy for my mom. My mom's fucking 68 years old. Uh huh. Anyway, I love him too. Yeah. I just never met one that I didn't like. No. And I was I was with Frankie a couple of days ago, and this pit bull um, uh, walked by, and then I went out to pet it and to have Frankie say hi. And the thing like the thing like hugged my leg. Yeah. And uh, I was like, this thing's nice, but <laughs> it's fucking it's strong. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You get a little taste of that strength. Yeah. But it's nice. I bet it makes you feel powerful. Having a dog like that that's so powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I used to walk my friend's dog. He was Italian. He named his dog Doggy. I was like, do you mean Doug? Like yeah. Dougie? And he was like, no, Doggy. I was like, oh, you named your dog Doggy. Cool. Really? But he was gorgeous. He was a blue pit bull. Mm. So beautiful. But he was neutered. Mm-hmm. And I'd, I'd walk him around this neighborhood and all of the, like, the old Puerto Rican men, old black guys would be like, why'd you do that to that beautiful? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's <laughs> his balls? Why are Mommy, you looking Mommy, where's that dog? Yeah. Right, <laughs> why are right. you looking for them? <laughs> You're not supposed to neuter your pit bull. I get. I guess not. Yeah. Well, they think about it's such a beautiful dog. That's money. Right. Dogs like that cost like a grand, two grand, or whatever. Yeah. I mean, what else are they? I mean, I, I, let's get into it. What else are they doing with these puppies? Why did you, you cut those beautiful testicles off that puppy? 
Damn. I've, s- I've seen a lot of videos about, I think what the, the worst thing that they do is, well, it's not the worst thing, but the bait dogs. Is yeah. Fucking brutal. The bait. Do- oh, oh yeah. I was going to, I was going to save that for later in the episode. We can talk about it now. No, if you whatever. Want. We can talk about it. Okay. Uh, whatever. Well, it's let me, brutal. let me give you a little, yeah. All right. So we'll come back to that. Let me give you a little <laughs> intro though. Okay. What? I follow everybody on Instagram. Yeah. I just like seeing what people have to say. So if someone's, you know, if people are suggested, I like to just see, you know, right. what's up. And there's a there's an account that I follow. Uh, the guy, the account's called Pitbulls and Addicts. Oh, oh, I like it. He's like a lower follower account, 10, 10.7K. That's fine. Followers, though. pretty good. He's gotten. Yeah. He's still got the swipe up feature. He's got the swipe up feature, <laughs> which I think is nice. Yeah. Um. But so, so he's like, this guy. He's like a, he's like a Staten Island guy who I don't know yeah. what he does. He's got some kind of program where uh, I know this. I've I've seen this guy. Yeah, I've for sure seen videos of this guy. Yeah, he's like very Staten Island. Yeah, he does I seem if he like was in, um, there. There was like these guys from New York that were in the don't fuck with cats thing. They're mm-hmm. like angels, uh-huh. dog angels, whatever. Do you know another guy named so, so there's another Staten Island character named Joey Saladino? Yeah, wait. Joey Salads? Wait, I don't know. Maybe let me see him. Is he big? How do you not love this face though? Look at this. That's not him. Everybody it? follow who? That's yeah, that's Joey Saladino. It is? I'm a dog. I'm running for Congress. Do you watch like <laughs> Staten Island's <laughs> first district? Do you follow the Bully Crew? Yes. I love yeah. Big fan. Okay. Pitbulls yeah. and Parolis. Great show. Uh, that's a great show. Yeah. Yeah. We're covering uh, it all. What? We're getting to all of it. This is great. Right. I love I, They're great. I love them. They're fantastic. My mom has one. Huh? My yeah. mom has one. Yeah. Family they're dogs. Fa- they're fantastic dogs. That people uh, fight to the death for money. For like how like like how much money? How much I is the most you can make? They say that at, at a at an average game, between like twenty and thirty thousand dollars could change hands at, at like a big organized game. Sometimes people just fight these dogs like in an alleyway or like on the street yeah, or whatever. I know. Um, yeah, which that's kind of fucked up. But and how much will they make? I, I don't am know. curious because twenty yeah. grand is like. Because I was on the train a couple uh, a couple days ago, and I saw the, like I saw this beautiful pit bull. It was like a white spotted pit bull, girl dog. But the guy was carrying her on like a thick, like a chain, like a bicycle chain. Mm -hmm. And uh, the guy, I don't know. I don't want to judge anybody. Mm. But I was, but now looking back on him, like that might have been a a fight. Because they fight females too, right? Oh, they fight them all. Yeah. It doesn't matter. What, um, but she had, did she have any scars on her? Uh, I didn't see any scars. It's like. And but it's when the dogs levels of the way they take care of them, yeah, they also like they shoot them up with antibiotics. Right, like, some of them are treated like professional athletes. Sure, fed incredibly like they good put them diets, on a treadmill, which treadmills. I think is pretty. F- that's pretty funny. <laughs> Just have like a kettlebells or like. But they also condition them to be dog aggressive mm-hmm. by keeping them chained. Maybe there's up. like a Joe Rogan of like the dog fighting world who's got a secret podcast. <laughs> He's like, that's how you got to work out your dog, bro. I'm sure that's there a, are those yeah. characters. Dog's fucking Jack. It's probably on the black web or whatever. Yeah. There's like a secret. Um, 100%. I'm There's sure. like a dark web for oh, a podcasting dark web. Not po- podcasting, but in like That'd the dog fun. fighting world. I think that there, I'm sure there's like a lot of obviously stuff on the dark web. Them advertising their dogs. But wouldn't that be funny if there was like a dark web of podcasts? For podcasting, yeah. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> just every version. <laughs> there's like every popular podcast. There's like an evil but version of it. Like it's like us. <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of fun. <laughs> Hello, my name is Evil Michael Barbaro, <laughs> and I'd like <laughs> today we're <laughs> today we're reporting on. I'm not as quick as I used to be. No, that's fine. That one. Yeah. I got to be put down like a fucking <clears throat> like a, well, like one of these pit bulls. Euthanized. Well, no, but what happens is a lot of times these fights. They'll fight the dogs, and then uh, the, the the fight is not to the death, but the losing dog right. gets executed. Correct. And if the dog loses in a in a particularly embarrassing manner, they will like it. it, it it's sort of like it adds to the spectacle. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying they like not you know any particular group of people. Black men. No, I'm not saying that. All right, like what? Like maybe some poor white guys. There's maybe? probably poor white guys. I feel like that's th- that was in a Bubba Sparks uh, music video, dog fighting. Ew. 
gross, Bubba. You're gross. Yeah. Do you think it's part of the Or culture? I don't know, one of these like... Um, it's so gross. I mean, it's just to me... But okay, so then you, you bring up... Ernest just knocked your phone on the ground. That's okay. You bring up 20 and 30 grand, right? And yeah. like, I do try to put myself in like other people's shoes and different perspectives. <laughs> right. And that amount of money could like change your life. If right. You know, you're, you're in a certain bracket or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, maybe your morals and you're, you're able to squash Distance your yourself, compassion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. Because the end result is worth it. Yeah. I'm trying to like see things from that point of view. Mm-hmm. Well, let me get back to this this Pitbulls and Addicts guy. So yeah. they don't he doesn't have the post on his Instagram anymore. But him and um so him and Joey Salads got into a fight a couple <gasps> uh a couple weeks ago. That's why you like you guys can't even work together to save dogs. Your gender yeah. so machismo. Oh, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just I'm Well, bad. so I I what I un- what I understand what happened was that. And you know what's funny? Like some, like I'll, I'll find like obscure, like obscure stories for this podcast that other, you know, that people don't really know about. Yeah. And uh, I'll get messages being like, actually, what happened was the Pipples and Addicts guy started talking shit about Joey Salads first. Like I'll get messages of people because <laughs> they who, know. Yeah, people are just Where really up start? on this stuff. Where did they start fighting? What like I in think public? On Facebook. I yeah, think. yeah. Now let me see if I can find this because jo- so if you're not familiar with Joey Salads, he's a Staten Island guy. He got he got famous as a YouTube star. Okay. Saving dogs? No. Joke. No. So he's <laughs> Making like Eating salads? Eating salads. Tossing no, them. he would do these videos. He would do these videos where um <laughs> uh, Hi Dad. Oh boy. Go ahead, Ernest, be a big boy. Go. You want to go out? Go peepees. Go peepees. All right. Here's go. we're so I I feel like me and you are pretty pro pro dog pro pit bull. Yes. Here's a story from October 2000, 2019. Okay. Pit bull fatally mauls Hazel Park boy in front of his mother. I right. mean that's bad. Right. No. Uh, yeah. No. 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 That's I'm that I'm against that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not cool, as I as I say, mauling a four year old to death. Right in front of his mother. Yeah. Well, I I've seen. Have you seen um. There's, uh, I think it's like women who kill the or like sixty psycho pound women. Yeah, and they are, they were they were like this, so allegedly this couple was smoking weed, but I'm like it sounds like maybe they were doing dope. But they were asleep, and the baby went downstairs to like let one of like the dogs out or whatever, mm-hmm. and they were two pit bulls, and they were both aggressive, and they mauled the baby to death. And really? they, I think they convicted the parents of like second or third degree murder or whatever negligence because they yeah. were stoned or under the influence. Yeah. Anyway. So I don't know. So that maybe. <laughs> I don't have an answer. Well, no, I re- that's well, but that's still the result of the human. Yeah, the family was actually watching a friend's dog, which had been in their care for less than a day before the attack occurred. The free press later reported the boy's thirty-eight-year-old mother was also injured while trying to defend her son. She cut the dog with a knife, but that wasn't enough to stop the attack. Wow. So, all right, that kind of sucks. The attack comes less than three months after nine-year-old Emma Hernandez was fatally mauled by a pit bull in Detroit. Okay, we're very this. this I mean, that sucks. Yeah. R.I.P. Those children. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, other but other children were mauled or, or bitten by other breeds as well. Not fatally though. Yeah, you're probably right. I think seventy-one percent of fatal dog attacks are are pit, are pit bulls. Yeah. Well, they are. I mean, their jaws and the way that that breed is. Yeah. Physically. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to do the most damage. Yeah. When you... um, So, all right, so let me get back to... Jo- so, Joey Salads was a guy who, like, he would he was, like, a YouTube... He was one of the early YouTube stars, I think. Okay, what was his hook? He would So, he would make videos where he would be, like... He he would, like, go to a... One of his big things that he would do yeah. was he would go to a playground, and he would be, like... The, the video title would be, like, abducting a kid in front of his parents <laughs> or something. <laughs> Wait, but it was, like, a joke. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he would be like, "Hey, so I'm I'm Joey Salads. We're gonna see if you think we're gonna see how safe your kid is." And he would like walk up to. So so I think what he did was like that. He found he found like a family that was at the park, and he like went up to the mom. Yeah. And he was like, "Do you think can I do a little experiment with your kid?" And then he like he like well he like walks up to the kid. He's like, "Hey, um, you want to come with me?" And the kid's like, "Okay, sure." He takes the kid by the hand and drags him away. (laughs) And and the dad is just like on his phone. The dad's just like on his phone, like you know, right. dicking around, and he's but like, the, "Wait, was be the careful out it? there." 
No, the dad wasn't in on it, but the mom was in on it. So the mom had to be like, you fucking idiot. <laughs> like, to the dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which up. is like kind of fucked up, I guess. I don't know. Most people, most people keep an eye on their kids. And also the odds of a pedophile abducting your kid, I think, are pretty slim. They're relatively slim. Yeah. You know? But um, do you, t- do you tie up Ernest outside when you go to the store? I usually bring him in. Yeah. Um, if I have to, I'll tie him up. But then I just keep looking, like, obsessively. I check, like, every 10 seconds. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I check, like, I check enough that if anybody wanted to get away with him, they would be, I, you know, they couldn't. I, that's how I feel. Yeah. I would definitely, you know, throw Reading. a fit, put up a stink. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I think what happened was jo- like, it seems like Joey Salads attacked the pit bulls and addicts guy like unprovoked. Okay. And he was like, he said something about like, um, wow, pit bulls are super dangerous. And then imagine giving one to a drug addict. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> what an I asshole! Mean, you're a drug addict. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel about that? <laughs> right, you make pedophile videos. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. He's he's a at, so now he's running for Congress and he's like a big he's of a big what? like where here for Staten, Staten, Staten Island? Island yeah Great. so he's like running for Congress I don't know if the election happened yet but he was and Staten um, Island holds seats in Congress they have a district yeah I think they have, well I mean it's a big population yeah I'm asking like how many seats are they you want me to Google it Staten Island <laughs> Jamie pull that up um who's Jamie um, Jamie no like Joe Rogan has a guy oh that he. You don't though. You fire. Does it your matter? Guy. No. Yeah. Um, and I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So whatever. He's running for office. He's like, imagine. Well, listen. I followed a guy down the street one time, a crackhead who had a dog. I don't even want to think about it. I'm gonna cry because I never caught him and I couldn't find like a cop to tell or anything. Mm-hmm. But he was just like total tweaker mm-hmm. and was just like walking down the street with this poor dog that just had this look in its eyes, like "fuck me, what just happened?" Like I feel like he just stole it from somewhere. Really? You know, where, yeah. Yeah. But I just like I mean I I I couldn't find a cop. I followed him for like blocks and blocks and blocks. Yeah. But then I had to like go somewhere. There was some story that I watched last night because because they because I, I wanted this yeah. episode because I went down this like little YouTube rabbit hole. Yeah. And there was a story that I watched about a, a lady who like she was in Prospect Park and then she, she had her dog off the leash and somebody took it and then she started looking for it and then the story is how like she found her dog on the street. And then her her friend went and like snatched it. Somebody else was walking it, and her friend went and snatched it. And then the guy who was walking the dog like chased after them and started hitting their car with his skateboard. But what they think the news story was so funny because they were like, police think that the people they found on the street bought the dog or found it, and the real thief is still at large. <laughs> so, so it's like she just <laughs> this fucking white lady just like. <laughs> It's so funny how white women will just scor- scorch the earth to get what they want. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know it's your dog, but it's just pretty I funny how, have. like, now you just traumatize these other people and stole their dog. What they think is their dog. Well, yeah. Did you lose your dog, lady? Like, like, what? how did she, what happened to her dog? Somebody snatched it. Somebody when snatched she tied it, it from the park. Yeah. And then she, like, got a tip that, that, Somebody saw the dogs, and then she drove over, and she saw these people walking it, and then they snatched the dog. Then the people walking the dog chased after <laughs> the dog. So she probably just, yeah, re-traumatized these people. Whatever. I mean, you're probably right. Yeah. But don't come between a white woman and, and her, her dogs. Son. Yeah, dog. and her son. If anybody took Ernest, I would just, like, lose my shit. I kicked a dog that attacked Ernest once. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So Joey Saladino was like... You guys can say whatever you want, but I know the facts. I know about the pit bull lobby. I know they have aggress- they're, they're bred to be aggressive. And we, yeah, great idea giving a pit bull to a drug, drug addict. addict. I mean, what a piece of shit. What's the pit bull lobby? He said there's a pit bull lobby that advocates for like pro pit bull laws, which I don't know. We should join. <laughs> Wait, I've seen some because of this we've stuff. heard well, the no, stories about that the they're, kids they're, getting they're mauled to death. They're pro pit bull laws. I think they're just trying to fight some anti pitbull laws yeah like there's yeah. laws in certain like i think miami or florida there's like there's laws against owning pitbulls and that's like what it sounds like certain buildings or whatever yeah listen you get like nine kids killed or whatever you, yeah you might throw up a law i don't know right and if, if pitbulls are killing kids in miami it's it's the people's fault yeah but i understand it and my thing is 
okay, you have to live in Miami. Like, mm-hmm. just move to a different state. Well, that seems to be the problem. That people people think that um, it is a genetic. It's like a genetic defect that these dogs. But it's bred. But that's it's what. All but, at the hands. But it's of like humans. you wouldn't. Uh, but it's like you wouldn't say that about a Muslim. I mean, some if you live in Staten Island, you would. But <laughs> but but what I'm argu- what I'm saying is that I think I I feel like it's the same type of bigotry that says pit bulls are are predisposed to be aggressive. All right. Well. That, I mean, like, I mean, the, the genetics are coming into play, though. Mm-hmm. Certain human beings are genetically predisposed to be faster and stronger than others. But not aggressive. I think personality traits aren't yeah, always. And I, but I do think that that's probably neurologically over time. That trait might be maybe not bred into them, but mm-hmm. they have like the potential. It's inherited. Yeah. I had a friend one time who was like. Pit bulls are dangerous. If you're at the dog park and you see a pit bull, you need to leave because they snap. And and and. Well, that's guy's I mean, an idiot. That's like a stupid person. Who said that? Did. Who is it? Somebody we know. I'll tell you after the show. Tell me after. Right. Was it Ian Fidance? No. But yeah, <laughs> but she was like, "You need to leave the. You need to leave the dog park." Yeah. 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 You need to leave the park. No. She was like, "You need to leave the dog park if you see." All right, well, that's ridiculous. Because there. But 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 I just feel like yeah. I mean, I just feel like it is the same type I'll of t- bigotry that that people with dog aggressive pit bulls ninety nine percent of the time aren't taking them to the park. Mm-hmm. If people have aggressive pit bulls, there's one or two things that are going to happen. They're going to be a responsible owner. I'm sorry, put their dog to sleep. My right. brother had to put a dog to sleep. That was really? aggressive. Yeah. They put him on Prozac. They tried a bunch of different things. It never worked. He was part pit bull part um like great dane he's mm-hmm. a huge dog he mm-hmm. bit my brother once my sister-in-law got pregnant they're like listen we can't risk it yeah we have to humanely euthanize this dog whose behavior we haven't we, with drugs and yeah. training haven't been able to figure out those are hard decisions you have to make you shouldn't or, euthanize a dog if it bites you one time though i bit him like a few times a few times yeah yeah he was bad his name was parker okay. yeah okay he was bad he had to go yeah you gotta go it was sad, and it was yeah. like because he, ha- he, like, because they had him from when he was a puppy. Yeah, how like, about like how about like hiring the mafia to kill your dog? Because <laughs> yeah. it bites you a couple times. Like cause a scene. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They just strangle it with piano wire. <laughs> that's how that's how Giuliani got his career because somebody <laughs> killed a dog. Shut up. And he's like, this is unacceptable. <laughs> I'm gonna start going after the mafia because. Uh, yeah. No, I'm but, just uh, saying, or. They don't care about their dogs. They're not bringing them to the dog park. They're yeah. neglecting them all day. They're you know, they're making them mean, yeah. hungry, and I've been trying to do a bit lately them. about how you, you there's never been a dog killed in a mass shooting. There hasn't? No. How do you really? I don't think so. You would you would know if there was. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. Unless like some like concert goer chick had like a Yorkie in her purse. I mean, other than that. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like where, happened. like, is there not going to be at schools or a movie theater? Yeah. And that gay nightclub. These aren't places that dogs are. <laughs> Those are my only mass shootings right now. <laughs> like four Pomeranians were killed <laughs> at, a gay, <laughs> at a gay nightclub shooting. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a, there's a march on what? Washington. There's a, there's games? another there's another women's march on Washington. Yeah. Yeah. And there, wait, there's a mass shooting there. Because there's dogs. No, Are we but, but beca- march? no, but because there there was a dog that was killed in a mass shooting, there's like another. Oh, we march on there's Tuesday. a second women's march. Yep. Yeah, we would. We yeah, would and it's just better attended than the other women, the <laughs> <laughs> regular yep. women's yep. march. Yeah, because dogs were killed. Yeah. Um. But anyway, yeah. So so uh. Why so do this you guy think that it's like black people that fight dogs? M- m- majority, the most. I don't want to generalize. I am not trying to be racist. Well, okay. But I think we could have a con- uh, honest conversation. Let's let's have an honest conversation too. Racist white people talking about <laughs> <laughs> two, two people. But I know. Two people. So why didn't you have a? If yeah. you're going to talk about dog fighting, Mike, you should probably get a black person on. Two people whose fathers said the n word regularly. No, up. my dad didn't. No, he said the he said colored. Oh yeah, yeah. My worse? dad. I feel like colored's worse. My dad only said it like one time. No, my dad might. And he my, was really no, upset. I don't even know if my dad ever. He said was it. really upset. He found some text messages from from my, <laughs> and my mom's phone. <laughs> And my he dad was loved black guys. Really bummed out. Yeah. My dad was always in trouble, so he got kicked out of like three schools. Yeah. And he would always find the biggest black kid he could at the new school. Yeah. And he would be like, "I'm your friend. You're my friend. We're yeah. sticking together." So he wouldn't get beat up on the first day or whatever. Nice. He was like kind of smart. Yeah. My parents hold some views that I don't agree with, right. but I've never seen them be 
mean to someone or shitty to someone. Right. They're like very nice people and everybody. Yeah. Everybody says that. But um, my grandmother one time, my sister had a friend over. Her friend Nikki came over when when this <laughs> when my sister was like seven years old. Yeah. Her black friend came over. Okay. And my grandmother like wouldn't talk to her. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's terrible. That's yeah, I can, we can't wait for her to die. That's bad. My I want her to die before my wedding. I'm hoping. So you don't have to spend eighty dollars on her plate. Well, yeah, and she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna have she's gonna complain <laughs> about something. She's gonna hate it anyway. Yeah. My dad always had dogs. My grandmother, we called her Nana Dog. All right, so you want? But you're asking me why do black people fight dogs? I do have a theory about this. I forgot I said that. <laughs> <laughs> and we have to. We cannot end this show. We can't end this show before we figure out. That's going to well, be the title of the episode. I, well, do you Why think do black people fight dogs? No, I, I feel like what it has to be is I was in your comedy club one time, and the, the guy who works there. Matt Richards? He had his two no. white dogs. <laughs> no, but uh, he has two the, guy white Ozzie, the guy Ozzy that works there, he yes. was talking about dogs with somebody. He got shot in really the arm, nice guy. didn't he? He got shot in the arm. Did yeah. he? Or did he just break it? No, he got shot. He did, right? But it was like a stray bullet or something. Yeah. It wasn't like, you know. Okay. He's not like, he's like one of the good ones. Right, right, right. He's not one of the, them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he, so, but he was talking about dogs and he was like, you got to get something big. It'll protect your house. And I feel like it just, it basically just comes down to poverty. Yes. When people don't have money, they're like, I'm going to, I'm going to get a, 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 a big dog a big and make scary it aggressive. Dog. It'll protect it's my a house. Security system. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah, and then maybe there is a culture around. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, like There's you said, a if you're difference between that mentality, well, yeah, which is I think sort of like a lower level. Just like I don't think it's necessarily abusive, like maybe neglectful, and there's like a lack of compassion there. Like you know, and like you said, I think it does have to do with economics and like maybe the way that you you've been introduced to dogs or like I see uh, little kids on the street, Spanish kids, black kids, they're so scared of Ernest. Really, it's like that. It's been instilled in them to like yeah. freak out and run away from dogs. Oh, yeah. And I'll look at their parents. And I'm like, that's the fastest way to get bit. I was like, don't teach Be, your kids to, to do away. that. Yeah. I mean, if if they were, it was an aggressive dog. Yeah. Well, it's just a different. I mean, I I would I would think that in some, I mean, so much stuff just comes down to poverty. And yeah. You're so right. I mean, literally, so much of life. Just yeah. uh, and and because it's a different it's, culture. So you're in survival mode, and you have to put your needs mode. first. And yeah. There isn't this luxury to pamper an animal and like yeah. create some goofy bond with it when you're just trying to and have feed. it be your friend. And yeah. yeah. And live your life. Yeah. There's a luxury to like put peanut butter on your vagina. Listen, <laughs> follow me on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's stuff that I there's stuff that I do with Frankie that I feel like if uh, like other people would not understand extremely homoerotic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I cuddle face to face with him. Oh my god, Ernest yeah. and I, it's so inappropriate. I touch his bone. I tell you this all the time. I know that. But like I, I like touch his boners. I like stare in his eyes. Mm-hmm. We spoon. It's like, you know. But then I also think it's funny to like whisper in his ear, "I could end your fucking life if I wanted to." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, an- another thing that bothered me, too, when all this Michael Vick stuff happened, I didn't really pay that much attention to it. I did. You did? Yeah, because my- I was dating an Eagles fan at the time. Oh, okay. So he was just justifying this shit left and right. right. And kept saying the first thing that you said. Well, I heard Steve Harvey justified it, too. Yeah. He was like, didn't he have a bit where he was like, let a man kill some dogs. Yep, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. He's like, this is made from a dog. He books up his hairpiece. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I hate Nick- dogs. Nick DiPaolo had a bit where, like, he was watching ESPN. It's funny to realize that Nick the Pop, you think about how, because I always just knew him as like a funny comic, but yeah. you know, you look back at his stuff and you're like, oh, okay, but it was all like pretty racist. Yeah, it was all pretty racist. <laughs> but that was but it's also funny. Yeah, that was just thing. That those, that's worked. how those guys are. Right, right. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but he had a bit where he's like, you know, I was watching ESPN and some guy goes, uh, I don't think this is about race. And he's like, he's like, the bit is like, yeah, there's tons of white guys, just I can't talk to you anyway. I got upstairs neighbors, but um. Okay. What? But uh. That are what? What? What are your upstairs neighbors? They're like, j- like they're younger. They're like younger black kids, but they're uh, very nice. Okay. But I don't want them to like hear the no, show out of context. About your white power podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I want. Can you like listen to every ep? Can you listen to a hundred <laughs> episodes first to get a feel for what we're doing here? You know, I'm not just some, I'm not just some crazy bigot. But anyway, see so this bit where he was like. He was like, yeah, the, like the bit is basically like, oh, yeah, white guys. He's like, yeah, Bill Gates just having a dog fight every right. weekend in his backyard right. with his Pomeranian. He's like, yeah, there's something to be like, said about like that. Yeah, he's got a line where he's like, this one's hurt. He's like, I don't know, drown in the cappuccino machine. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like unheard of. 
Yeah. It's like Natasha Legero and her I didn't know I was pregnant bit. She's like, I'm sorry, like that doesn't happen to rich people. Like you would never hear like oh, like Daphne, please mm. run and fetch and get me a towel. It seems that I've been pregnant. This whole like it just doesn't happen. What's I didn't know I was pregnant? That's when the baby that's the baby just like falls out. Uh, yeah, uh, into no. toilets in Atlanta. Come on. <laughs> Yes, that's what it is. There's a plumber in Atlanta that like <laughs> specializes in like getting a fetus out of a, out of a fucking drain. Got another one. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, how you doing, folks? This is Phil's. This is Phil's plumbing. We actually specialize in. Uh, <laughs> He's from like West. I don't know what the parts of Philly are. Not fetus. Philly's big rough. Head. Philly's rough, huh? Big cranny. Oh yeah. yeah, awful. But yeah, my ex was. Why don't you I give me? You got a fetus stuck in your drain. Why don't you give me a call <laughs> and uh, we'll take care of it for you. Okay? If, if you didn't oh, unclog yeah. your personal pipes, we'll unclog. Yeah. Your toilet. Give us a call for a free estimate. Your toilet. <laughs> we we, <laughs> we specialize in <laughs> in <removal>. unwed <laughs> mother fetuses. <laughs> we'll Un- get them out. Yeah. So, no, my ex was from Philly, and he was. He was defending, you know, the choice to to pick him up as a quarterback mm-hmm. quickly. Because Philly did that after the the dog yeah. fight. Because this was when Phil when the Philadelphia Eagles sucked. weren't as good. They were sucked. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, the one thing that bothered me, I mean, I didn't follow that story that closely, but I mean, it was pretty bad, right? I mean, he it was, was he was really doing a lot graphic of what they described how they would kill the dogs that lost, and it wasn't just pit bulls. There was Rottweilers too. Yeah. Um. Because we'll get into the mo- what I think is the most heinous part of it in a second. But okay. what? How did they? Ki- how did they kill the dogs? They were electrocuted. Some were hung, and some like people, including Michael Vick himself, would pick the dogs up by their hind legs and just like smash them into the ground until they died. Yeah, I mean, like really sick stuff. Probably after they lost a fight, you know, so they're like already half dead. Yeah, it's very violent. Yeah. Man, I always have to stop the show. You want it? Are you upset? No, I'm just gonna you yell the N word into this pillow. No, you need a minute, no, right? I, no, I mean, yeah, that sucks. I don't know if I don't know if something like that. N word into a pillow. Um, it's just sort of like I'm. I think. Yeah, how do you rehabilitate that's somebody? That's what I was from, just gonna say. Right, right, right. And that's what, but that's what he it's did. Not but like, it. It's not like a teenager who shoots a Seven Eleven employee by accident. <laughs> Because he just doesn't know anybody. Like a teenager who like hangs a kitten like from a tree. Like that person can be rehabilitated. No, that's fucked up. No, that person can't. They're gonna stab an Asian man in there. No, but but there's a but but there's a whole thing. I mean, I I have a friend who's a uh, who's a social worker and she works with a lot of like you know juvenile cases. Okay. And her her big thing like her big thing is you know advocacy for these kids, these juvenile kids to get tried as adults. Because a lot of these kids, they don't know what they're doing. They get they get manipulated into stuff, and yeah. they don't, you know. And they get tried as adults, and they spend a lot of time and in jail. They go to the hard jail, and they just never get out of the system. They never get out of the system. And then you have, you know, somebody like Hillary Clinton calling them super predators, and all that other stuff that happened she did? in the nineties. Yeah, that was like a big oh, thing. Oh, in the nineties, yeah. Was she like, was like prison was a big business. She in was the like, 90s. there's a, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of super predators out there. Did she really? Yeah, she Ew. called them. Yeah. You know, and their starter jackets. And find, I'll find that clip. Was it an interview? Or was she giving a speech? It was. She was giving a speech. At a rally. She's scum. All right. I know you hate hell. Yeah. I still like Elizabeth Warren, though. I don't care. You like? Yeah. Bitch That's is fine. making good sound bites out here. No, she's not. The New York Times picked her. Who cares? I don't even read. Reading is. <laughs> yep. They did like a whole thing, though. They like brought all the candidates in. They do that every them. election. Well, they did it again. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the first time I paid attention she's to just it. Making I don't ass, think she's making correct. an ass out of herself. No, she's not. She's, she's embarrassing a little herself. Hokey. Compared to Biden, he's embarrassing. I bet he, wear, yeah, he wears the pens. I bet b- fucking Bernie wears the pens, too. He's old as fuck. He just had a heart attack. So Every time he talks, he's like... <laughs> I think Flem's going to fly out of his face. I don't care. All right. If he dies... On. I mean, if he... If he dies, we'll just have a. Uh, Listen, we're gonna have Donald Trump. We'll have for a president in a anyway. hijab. <laughs> we'll have some lady in a hijab <laughs> become president. <laughs> we'll just let's not. <laughs> and then we'll have peace in the United States <laughs> once and for all. Finally, um, yeah. But and Frankie uh, Eleanor Roosevelt. Hi, Frankie. But no, you don't Come think here. she's she's like embarrassing herself. She's she's, terri- a she's terrible corny. instincts. I don't think so. She's How? a little corny. She pretended to be. No, she's she's, American, a, she's that was a while evil. Ago. She she's evil, the, Karen. She isn't evil. She isn't evil. She has a plan she for pretended. everything. 
She believes in working class Americans. She's a Ravenclaw. <laughs> she contributed a fucking rec- a Native American recipe to a cookbook that she plagiarized. That's funny. She did that to be funny. She was like, oh, Oreos. <laughs> she's like, she's like, this is an Oreo pie. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's just Sasha Baron Cohen, just trolling everybody. Did you hear about the TSA lady who like took the lady's pigtails who was Native American and went giddy up? <laughs> Anyway, she got in trouble because that's racist. Yeah. Focus. I guess it's funny for us. Anyway. No. Okay, but yeah, but somebody like Mike. So, so I'm not sure if somebody like Michael Vick can be rehabilitated. rehabilitated. And what kind of bothered me about that was was you had a, a lot of like white liberals being like, "Oh, that's their." I knew we were going to get into this, and I probably I should have Alex English here or somebody who. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing a char- Alex? I was doing a character the, the other night, Alex. You guys might not know who Alex English is, but he's a comic. He's a black gay guy. Yeah, he's But great. I was doing a character called Alex Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, me gusta hombre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yo you should soy, have had, like, not me. Yo soy homosexual. <laughs> Yo Alex. tengo tu culo. Yeah. Stuff like that. Yeah. I would, like... Ernest is so hungry. No, but I, but I think that... Get out of there. We'll go home and eat dinner soon. I'm listening I don't know, to you. but it's an, it's annoying to hear white liberals be like, "Well, I mean, you can't judge." Culture, like, it's it? part of their culture. There are so many cuz I cuz I saw a Daily Show bit where Trevor Noah was like, he the joke was like, "White people love their tiny dogs." Yeah. I see people all the time over here with Yorkies and Yeah, but they don't love them. They don't. No. They just use them as bait. Yes. <laughs> They're just yeah. None They're of just them, feeding them to them. None of them have their get their hairs cut. They none of them have leashes. They just like walk them with no, nothing mm-hmm. and hope for the best. Yeah. Yeah. They're super aggressive because they don't actually walk them more than once a day. Like, mm-hmm. you know. I yelled at a guy who lived next to me because he would leave this little white dog out on the balcony next to my balcony, mm-hmm. and the dog would be barking, and be like. Two degrees out. But you're kind of generalizing there, don't you think? I didn't say what color the guy was. I didn't yeah. say what race he was. Okay. Can you bleep out that I said what color the guy was, please? What's so funny <laughs> is I have such a mix of <laughs> listeners <laughs> that, that people will be you like... Know, I'm tired, but I wish like, I didn't say that. Like, don't ever have that dumb racist whore on your <laughs> show again. And I'll be like, oh, okay. I would have yelled at whoever, a bit. whoever. I'm like caught between two worlds, though. What you know? do you mean? Well, because I'm like a liberal faggot, but... But I. You're also like white power. I'm also like me. Yeah, I'm a, like a mean Italian, comedian, Italian chauvinist. Yeah. yeah. I know. Listen. Anyway. Everybody's complicated. Mm-hmm. Most people love dogs. Yeah. I do think that the theory is that because, you know, certain groups of people have been so impoverished, marginalized, treated like animals themselves. Right. That their instinct isn't to have compassion, maybe. It's not. It, they aren't born with it. But I think that even the poorest people have a connection to their dogs and have like a, you know, have an emotional connection. I I, I don't see how you cannot have an emotional connection with with your, with a dog. But it, but I think even it, this giant pit bull that I saw on the L train. But it happens. Like, they just tie them outside, and mm-hmm. you know, don't put them to sleep when they get sick. Just let them die. Yeah. How dare you! I mean, there was I saw some video of uh, these people in France, these animal rights activists, and they were like rescuing. They took a homeless guy's dog, puppy, and it was like, ah! yep, I, yep, I saw that too. Yeah. I mean, they anyway. traumatize the puppy. Like there is a listen. There, there's got to be a better way to do things like that. And like maybe not that homeless guy's puppy. Mm-hmm. Like there's a difference between that and like you know you see a starving dog that a that a heroin addict has. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. I don't know what that's kind of a complicated. Yeah, thing. but even those heroin addict dogs, they seem like they're doing okay. Yeah, they're on heroin. Oh, they are. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I mean, they're always like so tired. Yeah. They just so imagine really like a guy like a guy bringing his kid to the city and the kid's like, Daddy, we should give that dog some money. He's like, the dog's just going to do heroin <laughs> with it. <laughs> He's going to He's going to end up, t- yeah, doping out. Well, anyway, so so I probably, I think the the most, and then we'll wrap up, the most particular, the most heinous, heinous aspect of this. There was a guy in, I think, South Carolina or one of these southern states where he had he had a female dog. She had a litter of puppies. The mom and one of the puppies got out. He found the mom, but then it was like a, it was like a Labrador or something. And he found out that the the 
puppy have been picked up and used as practice for like a people who were fighting their dogs yeah. and it was on video and he had to watch the video and there were people being like finish him rufus yeah <laughs> no or like finish her yeah yeah it's sick it's real sick the and i don't think is sick is really it's really twisted right I don't but i know. don't but i don't think that we could we can let these people off the hook by being like oh it's poverty i think there are there's evil rich people and there's evil poor people and that's uh <laughs> that's fucked up I I mean I would I would agree with you. I mean there's something And about I don't like think we can let Aaron Hernandez off the hook either. Well, he didn't let himself off the hook. Well, I mean eventually they had to bring him down from the hook. Yeah. But <laughs> um yeah, I know. I I try my thing is like I try to really have uh, put myself in people's shoes and like see from like their perspective because you just don't know. Because yeah. and I'm talking about like my black friends too who are yeah. super educated. I'm sorry, Frankie really smart, really chill, yeah. who just aren't into dogs. I'm not saying that they would... <gasps> Frank, Ernest, you are not... This is not your house. Who just aren't into dogs. And mm-hmm. I don't even... I, if I'm being perfectly honest, I don't get that. Yeah. I don't get how people aren't into dogs all, all the time and think they're awesome. Yeah. But some people are just like, ew, gross, get it away from me. Um, and, they, uh, and it's not, not always my black friends. Yes, it is. <laughs> I... Uh, I feel like I know who you're talking about. Do you? <laughs> yeah, she had a post. <laughs> it's like, whatever. I mean, yeah, everyone's entitled to their opinion, but she had this l- fucking diatribe on Twitter. Yeah. About how she, like, hates dogs and dog culture. Yeah. Because they're dirty. Yeah. So. Whatever. Uh, whatever. We, it's each their own. Yeah. <laughs> but it's weird. But I just don't get it. It's fucking weird. Yeah. I don't get it, but, but I was born into a home with a dog. Yeah. I, there was I never lived I, I I lived a very you know a short period of not even I don't know where I didn't have a dog and yeah. I was empty and alone yeah <laughs> couldn't wait to get one. Let me ask you about this before we wrap up. There's so much true crime on Netflix right now. Yeah, it's great. It's a big right, but but it does it is starting to feel like it's getting a little formulaic, where it's like they take of they take a thing. Well, Andrew Schultz was telling me that it's the women who watch the most of it. The, uh, it the most too yeah, like course. super high and it's because theory is that because most women live a pretty safe life and like mm. never have to get abducted or raped or hell whatever. yeah schultz with the <laughs> <laughs> dropping <laughs> the truth bombs baby <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and that the yeah. making sense and then you take that white women <laughs> so that's why we're so we want to watch it so much because we want to watch it happen to someone else from the i would disagree with that though because because don't you feel like just as a woman, there's danger out there, or or has the has the feminist lobby convinced us that? No, I mean, uh, as someone who should have been kidnapped and raped, yeah, and who hasn't been. Most guys are pretty cool. Most yeah, dudes are pretty chill. I, yeah, yeah. As yeah. somebody who's like been in a blackout multiple times, yeah, screaming probably at the top of her lungs. You know what I mean? Like, couldn't be asking for it more. Yeah, and I've been totally fine every single time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a sense of like I, I'm untouchable. You're just 12 years old, being like, "Mom, why won't anybody kidnap me?" <laughs> Honestly, why won't anybody throw me in a van? And uh, yeah, I think Ernest and Frankie love each other. They're like intense around each other. I don't know. That's a weird. Wait, that's an interesting conversation. Then we'll, and then we'll wrap up. But <laughs> <laughs> you've said that <laughs> this four true. I know, cr- uh, but this true crime stuff, where um, yeah, I mean, I feel like you and and Deb, right. The number one and number two women in my life. <laughs> what about your mom? <laughs> what? What about your mom? Okay, the number. So my mom's number one. There so I go. guess you. Yeah. So Deb's, I'm number three. Yeah, you're three. I'm comfortable in a bronze position. But I have a sister. I don't care. <laughs> no, I know. So I'm saying you're. <laughs> oh, good. Wow. Yeah. She must suck. Yeah, she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's but, just whatever. But as women, what were you gonna say? She annoys me. I don't know. It's like uh, is, there's 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 certain women that you. That you listen to because because they don't you know shut up. <laughs> you have that no are, choice. That are, they they I mean they act as if they're always in danger, which I'm sure uh, you know. I'm Not sure me. a lot of people. I'm fine. Well, you're like 37 years old. Yeah, I'm out of the. Nobody's gonna. I'm so small though. Mm-hmm. I still could be like picked up and whisked away. Yeah. But that's why I've Ernest to protect me. Yeah. What was your know. point? 
My point is that, yeah, maybe he's right because rich women never get killed by serial killers. It's always like... What about OJ? It's always like... He wasn't really a serial killer. Well, she... No, and she was asking for it. I mean, that lady had some problems. (laughs) She had some balls (laughs) on her. That that Um, lady had some fucking issues. She was nuts. Yeah, she married OJ. Yeah. Um, Rich women get killed. We don't know anything about her. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. Do they? Yeah, guys will kill their wives. Oh my god, Ernest, what did you get, you lucky duck? Usually it's like she was finishing up her bartending shit, her second bartending shift of the day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is of course like the trashy, right. drunk, weak, stupid women that are, are going to be the easier victims. Mm-hmm. Rich people, which but I I think rich women get killed by their partners. Yeah. It's women and gay men that are murdered the most. Well, yeah. Yeah. Or smaller. <laughs> Easier to kill. Yeah. Well, you're just more lurable with <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah. We're smaller or yeah. stupid. You just if you have candy, and it's easier like, to we all have the sweet It's tooth. easier to get them into a van. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Karen, you want to plug anything? All right, thanks for listening. Um, yep, I'm at the stand every Monday. Follow me on Instagram. All right, guys, come see me in Hartford this weekend. I will have the venue on my uh, who are we kidding? But uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm in Hartford. I'll tweet about yeah, them. It's, it's so hard to plug, but people listen to your podcast, so maybe they're waiting. Where are you at the Hartford Funny Bone? Is that what you said? No, it's not the Funny Bone. That closed. Well, obviously. Wait, I don't no, know the Funny. No, not the, the Funny Bone. What's the club in Hartford City? That, Steam. It, that was a good. That was a good club. I don't know. I never that just fucking it. closed. Really? Nope. They would pay seven hundred bucks Shut for up. three shows. Oh, okay. And you uh, get a hotel. One Saturday. Yeah, you get a hotel. One Friday, two Saturday. It's great. It's like, yeah. yeah. What What else? I don't want anything else out of life. That's fine. I just want to make $700 a week telling jokes. That's easy. Yeah. Anyway. Not anymore. Now it's all these <laughs> fucking <laughs> disabled woke. women of color taking all the jobs. <laughs> With their no legs. <laughs> yeah. It's not even an elevator in the club. <laughs> they got to call the extra staff to, I mean... That's brutal. Makes that doesn't make any sense. Cost more money. I, I'm cheaper. I can walk down the stairs. Right. You're gonna cost. Let less. me play the club. Yeah. But you don't have a lot of people following you in their wheelchairs. They're not wheeling. Imagine like there's a there's, yeah there's like a wheelchair comic and then her whole audience is wheelchair yeah. comics and they yeah. have to just carry everyone down. They do, they do choreography one together. One. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Give it up for the disabled. Yeah. Everybody's eating the shit. Did you see that video of Amber Heard doing here. sign language to like some guy? No. That's pretty cringy. Yeah. You can tell. Can you tell that people have like learned like some sign language sometimes, but they're definitely like faking like some of it. You know, like they're like trying to like. I'm like, you're just you're just asking him to read your lips at this point and going. Like, yeah. We just keep touching their head and their heart. <laughs> we'll get into that next time. Right. On the Microsteam podcast. What's the name of your podcast again? The Sit Down. The Sit Down, right? Yeah. I just realized. How Welcome funny. to the sit down. You don't do that at the beginning. You don't have like a thing. What do you? Oh, mean? you do when you produce it. I've never listened to your podcast. It's okay. Nobody, <laughs> nobody has. <laughs> we actually never had a single listener. <laughs> We're just talking into the void. No, uh, I always get a lot of followers all, when I do your. podcast. It's all fake. You put it on Reddit. That's smart. Oh yeah. Or maybe Matt used to do that. You should. Maybe do that. Matt used to do that. So you should do it. <laughs> Thanks, I don't know, folks. Folks, it's just tough. Don't kill your dogs. Don't fight them. Dogs are actually programmed to like roam the earth. It makes them really happy when they walk a lot. When they walk, yeah. So do that. How about that vagina candle? That's pretty funny. Gwyneth. I just kind of pieced that together today. I like that style of narcissism. Like, I don't, like. Yeah, it's, yeah. <coughs> why wouldn't somebody want to smell my pussy throughout their home? <laughs> That's, <right. laughs> That's great. Why wouldn't anybody want to fill you their You got to respect it. Dude, I mean, if a guy came out with a dick candle or like ball, this smells like my ball sack or whatever, we'd be like, yeah. what a, but there's something about a beautiful, Do you think when they were symmetrical- first developing the scent, she was like, yeah, I mean, this smells like a pussy, I know. but it's not, <laughs> not my mine. pussy. Right. And then there's like different, like, this is like post-workout smell pussy. This is, yeah. you know, you slept with two guys in the 24 hour period pussy. Oh, does that change the. <laughs> That'll fuck your pH up a lot. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> You need Islam. (laughs) (laughs) All right. (laughs) See you next time, everybody. Goodbye.